Is a 4 year old model still a good buy? Do I need a Mark 3 or is Mark 2 good enough? How much faster is the latest AF? Hmm. Welcome everyone to yet another Photography 101. My name is Jimmy Chang and this channel is about sharing my 16 years of experience as a professional photographer and filmmaker with an aim to help you become a better photographer, videographer or both. I'm also an Olympus ambassador so you will see a lot of Oli gears in this channel. So smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay notified for all my upcoming content. Questions, questions, questions. Ever since I started this channel, I get asked a lot. So today, I want to clear at least one of them. Does it make sense to invest your hard-earned cash in an older camera? If you ask me, I can make a lecture out of this on its own. It will probably last a couple of hours, but by then, most of you will be gone. So I'm not going to drill down to every little details, but rather give you an insight why the person who asked me these questions should first ask him or herself. I'm not being unhelpful, but just trying to give you the truth. I'll only show you the doors and you, and only you, will have to choose which route you want to take. But I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. Sounds very Matrix. Before we go technical, first, you need to understand two things. Photography and your understanding of photography. Sounds weird, right? No, not really. Before you acquire a camera, you must have an understanding of what photography is, or at least what it means. Many have chosen to take the easy route out by looking at all the glamours that comes with photography, like anything in life. However, photography, at least to me, is an art. It's an art of expression, a record, and a representation of time and space. As with most artists would say, it's never about the tangible rewards that he or she enjoys, it's the emotional rewards that he or she receives that satisfy them. This has a direct impact on new photographers if they don't understand this very point because they think photography is a fashion, a camera is a fashion accessory. Walking around with a camera is cool, thinking that they are different to others because they look like artists. Without knowing the essence of photography, carrying a camera doesn't mean anything and certainly will not transform you into an artist straight away nor makes you look cooler than others. In fact, an experienced photographer can tell almost straight away whether a person can take a photo or not. Then, it's your understanding of photography, how you want to create and capture your photographs. We may have all singing, all dancing, artificial intelligence stuff that does most of the thinking for you, but it still doesn't take away the fact that you still have to tell the story and execute the shot. This is how you determine what type of camera or model you need. If you ask me, is the new camera better than the old camera? A short answer is, yes, of course. Technically, any new camera is better, especially in this digital age. It will have faster processor, better sensor, faster AF, more features, you name it. But if you ask me, will the new camera capture better photos than the old camera? A short answer is, no, not to most people at least. It's like motor racing. A professional racing driver will always be faster than most ordinary drivers. They can exploit any car's performance and get in every last bit of what the car can provide. On the other hand, I can never drive a racing car like a racing driver. I will never be as fast or to explore the chassis to that extent without spending years on training. At the end of the day, a camera is a camera. It takes photographs. A car is a car. It gets from A to B. So whether your camera is 10 years old or brand new, there is absolutely no difference. In capable hands, even a pointer shoot can perform. In that case, you can ask yourself, do you want or do you need? Because everyone is different. Their preferences, their budgets and their goals are different. Want and need are totally two separate things. Who doesn't want the latest gear, the best equipment money can buy? If you are starting out, you should put the emphasis on need rather than want. I made some silly mistakes when I first started my photography journey. I spent all my available budgets on the best camera I could afford. But then I forgot the rest, like lenses or better still, 
educational stuff such as photo books or even workshops. I didn't realize the importance of these until a year later when I found out that I couldn't get a bloody good shot without understanding the essence of photography, without appreciating the skills and patience that I had to give to make that shot. It's tough, but by then I didn't have enough money to learn. Well, those were the days when free knowledge like internet or a YouTube channel like this one you're watching right now didn't exist. I wish someone would tell me what I'm telling you right now, reminding me what not to do if I'm serious about photography. So I learned the hard way. There is absolutely nothing wrong with older cameras, not unless they're physically exhausted or broken. Most cameras are used by amateurs and unlikely there would be any sort of abuse to them. Therefore, in theory, these cameras should last for a very long time, long enough to pass on to the next generation. Well, not that you would want to do that with digital camera these days, but you could, just like the good old film days. Just remember, I'm not here to stop you from buying new cameras or gear that you want. I'm only answering one question that was asked repeatedly. Is an older camera still worth getting over the new ones? In my book, yes, absolutely. That's it folks, let me know your thoughts on this by leaving some comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and you know what to do now. Thumb if you like this video and sub if you want to support this channel and me. Peace!